Introducing the RSW Auto Switching Redundancy System. Myself and Ollie from Fretronics Engineering in Glasgow have been working on this 1U unit for the last year. The Auto Switcher allows you to switch from a main to a spare guitar or bass amp modeler in the event of a complete failure. How we do this is we send a tone from this unit through the top or the main amp modeler in this case, we have a quad cortex. And if that tone isn't redetected by the unit, then it will automatically switch from A to B. So from your main to your spare. The RSW will work with a variety of different amp modelers available today. But if they don't support the auto switch feature of this device, it can also be used as a manual switch with the added features that this device includes as well. So on the front panel of the RSW, we have the main on off power switch. This not only controls the device itself, but the devices connected to it. We then have a 10 amp breaker, which protects the device and the devices connected to it. And then we have two status indicators for the power supplies within the device that power your amp modelers below. Then moving over to the left side of the device, we have the A and B LEDs and the selector switch. So this is from A to B or main to spare. Then we have the auto switch section here. So we have the status indicator here and the auto switch button here. To activate the auto switching function of this device, we'll select auto switch and we'll see the status indicator light green. Next to that, we have the time delay feature. This is a really important feature of this device. When switching through presets on an amp modeler, there's an undetermined gap of silence. This gap of silence could be read by the unit as a failure. Instead, here you're able to trim a predetermined amount of time that this unit won't trip for if it does detect a silence. On the rear panel, we have the input. This is a mono buffered input, so it can take large cable lengths, but it's also a TRS balanced input. That input is then switched along with the output switching of this unit to the inputs of each amp modeler, respectively A and B. We then have the output section. So from amp modeler A and amp modeler B, the outputs come in here into these nitrate combi jacks, and then they're switched to the master outputs. These master outputs are Carnahill transformer isolated and also have a ground lift. Moving back to this passive AB section, we have a really versatile section of this device. These can be used as amp modeler output three and four for A, output three and four for B, and then a master output for outputs three and four of your amp modeler. They can also be used as an effects loop, so we can have ascend and return from amp modeler A, ascend and return from amp modeler B, and have a master effects loop from this send and return here. So when we're switching from A to B, or your main to your spare, your effects loop comes with it as well. This passive AB section is also TRS, so if you're using the RSW, for a redundancy system with Fractal Audio's Axe Effects, you can use this to switch a single FC foot controller via Fastlink between the main and the spare amp modeler. It can also be used for an expression pedal. So if you have an expression pedal in A, an expression pedal in B, you can have an expression pedal on stage that switches between the two devices. So this section's really versatile. Into this device, we also incorporated a MIDI through box. That way, you can independently feed MIDI to both of your devices, and in the event of a failure, you don't lose your MIDI signal. We then have the tone section. So this is a send and return for the tone that operates the auto switching function of this device. The send is routed into an alternate input of the main amp modeler, and then out of an alternate output of the amp modeler, is then returned back to the device. Into the power section of the RSW, we've incorporated two 12 volt, three amp isolated meanwhile power supplies. And next to that, we have two IEC outputs followed by the main IEC input. This whole power section is controlled by the main switch on the front, and it's also protected by the 10 amp breaker. So here we have the RSW 
racked with two neural quad cortexes in a redundancy setup. As you can see in the drawers themselves, there's only the cabling required to patch the quad cortex to the RSW and nothing else. All the power supplies, switching and MIDI all come from this one U device. We'll now demonstrate the auto switch feature of the RSW. If I press the auto switch button, you'll see the status indicator lights green. Now we'll simulate a complete failure of the main unit by unplugging the power whilst playing the guitar. You'll see that the auto switcher switched from A to B and we have a red status indicator alerting you or your guitar tech that there has been a failure. You'll also not be able to switch back to A until the system's been reset. Once the problem with the main amp modeler has been rectified, we can then hold both of these buttons in together. The RSW will reset and then we're able to switch back to A and initiate the auto switch function again.